Fam, what's good Team Legends? Man, it feels really good to actually be able to bring you a video uh, not a week after I filmed it. So you're probably watching this within 24 hours of me completing this workout, which was done Tuesday, March 25th, 2014, uh, four days after my 23rd birthday. Had a really good birthday, guys. Uh, I think I have some footage. I might have some footage surrounding my birthday, but then again, I didn't really do too much other than I moved. I moved on the 21st. Those who follow me on Facebook, Instagram know that uh, I'm in a new place now. Really, I love it. Um, I'm enjoying it. And I finally have my internet hooked up. My, my computer is all set up. So I'm able to get back on making consistent videos and get back to working on, on, on really important stuff. Uh, this workout uh, was a squat workout. Uh, in the past, with 405 pounds, which I'm going to attempt here, I... Uh, I've hit two sets of five high bar, and that was a month or two ago. And I think I'm at my best ever for high bar squat. Um, when I was at this poundages in the past, either 2011 or 2012, uh, I was doing low bar squats. So this is definitely awesome for me, since uh, high bar tend to be harder. <laughs> um, and, and, I, I was doing low bar for quite a, quite a long time. So 405, I really enjoy this weight. Um, and I wanted three sets of five for this workout. And after each set, I'm, it just gets harder and harder and harder. So this is the second set of, uh, of five reps of 405 squat that you're watching. Um, if you're wondering what, what, how often I squat, um, basically one and a half times a week. How does it? How is it one and a half times a week? Um, my Tuesday, I, I, I hit legs Tuesdays and Saturdays. So basically, my scheme is uh, my week starts on Tuesday. So lower, and then Wednesday is upper. Thursday is off, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are, are kind of split. So Friday is uh, is back and triceps. Saturday is legs, and then my Sunday is chest shoulder biceps and uh, sometimes I, I I'll even do that tricep in that day and then the bicep on the back day it really just depends uh, and like I said in a previous video the reason for that is bring up my arms <laughs> bring up my arms and uh, hit them when they're fresher in workouts uh, yeah I, I it's funny how that's actually a goal of mine but hey it's a goal I'm, I'm, I've made a goal for myself and uh, I'm, I'm acting upon it so I, I alternate my squats and sumo deadlifts as the first exercise of the workout on my Tuesdays. So this Tuesday hit squats. That means the next Tuesday I'm going to go for uh, my deadlifts again. And I'm really enjoying just hitting you know 500 pounds sumo deadlifts and increasing my, my, my volume, whether it's by a rep or two each workout. Uh, my most previous, my most recent workout for my sumo deadlifts. Uh, I hit four sets of three. So that's the second time I've hit four sets of three. So I'm just getting better and better at doing that. Uh, and I think this is this is the fourth set right here with 405. And I th it may have been an all-time PR with, um, maybe, with squ maybe not with squats in general, because I've, I've done low bar in the past. But with high bar squats, definitely a PR of me hitting three sets of five at any body weight um any body weight ever this is definitely a huge pr me just hitting uh three sets of five and then this fourth uh set of five just was icing on the cake right here icing on that daryl's cake so i was extremely pleased with how this workout was going um i i felt seriously amazing after hitting that fourth set of five uh four or five after that um, after that, I wanted to do even more squats. I was seriously in the mode, so I uh, dropped it down to 320, and I took it to the uh, pause squats, as you can see here. Beltless on the first one, and then I belted up for the uh, next two sets of pause squats. And I think I paused even longer on the, the next two sets. Um, so yeah, you guys know how much I squat now. Every Saturday and every other Tuesday. So things have been going pretty well um, in the last couple days. I did have a funk about a week ago, which, uh, which in, in a vlog coming up I will explain. 
and go over what was what was up. Basically, I had a pretty bad thumb issue, and you will see the live footage of that. Uh, what occurred to my thumb, and I'll explain how that affected my workouts for a little while. Uh, right now, my thumb is not 100%, but uh, I was actually able to hit my deadlifts today, which requires me, you know, holding a lot of weight. And I was able to do um, hook grip on those deadlifts when I needed to. So um, for about f uh, 12 or 13 reps of deadlift today, um, not that heavy, mind you, since I was doing conventional deadlifts today, which is kind of my weaker deadlift. Uh, I used hook grip with the bad thumb, and it really wasn't too bad. Uh, there's still a little bit of tenderness, a little bit. Uh, but it's getting better. It's getting better and better. Uh, this is the gym that I'm currently training at on a somewhat frequent basis. Uh, it's in Rockland, and uh, I like it. If, you, if you're watching this and you know where this is, um, come and say what's up if you ever see me. Uh, I enjoy it. So far, I haven't had any issues with uh, filming or anything. Then again, I'm not super uh, out there with my camera. I usually just mount it on, on a bar or on my, my uh, BBC foam roller of the gods. So Next up is the uh, conventional deadlifts. And I've I had to start from nothing when it came to these conventionals. It, it, I, I stopped doing these for so long because I fell in love with doing the sumos, deadlifts. And um, from doing so much high bar and so much sumo, I really feel like I neglected uh, hamstrings and also my lower back uh, in terms of building it up in its strength and development. So, um, I'm keep you know I'm still doing tons of leg curls for my hamstrings, but I also have added uh, quite a bit of stiff leg deadlifts. Did I say Romanian earlier? I'm not sure, but uh, stiff leg deadlifts, which I prefer over Romanians, uh, which are you know uh, non-stop kind of deadlifts where you're you're changing directions of the motion at a kind of some you know maybe a, at a dangerous point. Uh, in the movement, and whereas a stiff leg deadlift, uh, you're starting stop and go on the ground. Uh, conventionals here, this is the first set of uh, 335, and just making sure that I load my hips. Um, the bar path doesn't look too pretty on the way down. On the way up, it looks pretty decent. It looks somewhat straight up and down, but you, you can tell that on the way down, it's it's not this it's not the same. Um, and I think I have somewhat a good idea just from looking at this footage here. I think it's because I try to keep it so close to me on the way down against my thighs um, that when it gets to my knees, it kind of comes forward a little bit. Uh, this was the last set. This was... Is this uh, 345 now? Yeah, this is 345 now for my fifth set. I'm doing all these belt lifts. Uh, I've worked my way up from doing just 275 for sets of five, and now I'm at 345 for five. Uh, this next workout, I'll probably hit 345 for three sets of five, or maybe uh, 350 for three sets of five. But I'm, I'm just slowly working my way up. Uh, belt lifts for the most part. Maybe until I get back to 405, I'll throw the belt on for those kind of kind of poundages. So. Yeah, that's it for the workout pretty much here's the full workout it was definitely a pretty damn long one holy shit beginning of the workout it was nice outside now it's freaking storming i'm on that good cushion kick at bar i got some damn bitches i can call i don't know what i would do without kick at I'm a ball till the day I'm fat. So you guys know how when it rains, there's usually a beautiful rainbow and all that, right? <sighs> Check this shit out, motherfuckers. You already know. Look. You want to know what else is pretty awesome? So uh, yesterday, I pick up my lawnmower. It's not one of these boxes. A few days ago, I was able to purchase all of these, including the lawnmower, and I put these in my car because they fit. But... The lawnmower obviously wasn't going to fit in my car. It's big ass lawnmower, a serious gas lawnmower. And by the way, all of these are gas over here. And um, last night it was in my backyard 
and uh, just the box, right? The box with the lawnmower. And I had this feeling. I was like, oh, hold on, guys. It's probably bugging you, right? I'm like, I have a weird feeling that it might rain tomorrow. I should probably put this box inside. It wasn't even the rain. I just had a weird feeling. I was like, no, I should probably put this inside to keep it, keep it safe and secure. And guess what? It fucking poured today. That lawnmower would have been soaking wet. Soaking wet. But it's not. It's not soaking wet. Quick note to self, I am putting my knee sleeves over here to dry and to be smelly as hell. Haven't gotten the washer and dryer yet, but yesterday, or a couple days ago, I went and actually purchased them. So I'm waiting for those to arrive, I believe on the 27th. So it looks like I got quite a bit of chalk on the back of my seat. And like I said in my Instagram video, I'm not even mad though, because I passed a shitload of people in line at Chipotle today. It's really funny too because you see everyone on their cell phones while they're waiting in line at Chipotle, all 25, maybe 20, 25, 30 of them, all on their cell phones. And I'm like, that's it. I used my cell phone. I pre-ordered the Chipotle. Now I'm gonna wait in line. It's just ironic because I use the cell phone to pass all those motherfuckers up. And they're using a cell phone to wait. So it just felt good, man. It felt good. So here's how I do my post-workout meals, guys. Chips and dip right there. Chips and dip, Chipotle burrito, Kit Kat bar. I'm gonna finish the rest of that uh, after I finish this. I'm watching Da Vinci's Demon season two. You win some and you lose some, guys. I think this burrito's. Oh my gosh, this burrito's probably like a 850, 850 burrito right here. 850 grams, maybe 900. I highly doubt that. This is probably an 875 burrito right here, which kind of sucks. A couple days ago, I had like a 1250 or so. Eh, whatever though. Hey, quit me, little bitch. Oh, yes, cake! Yeah, motherfucker!